on the bamboo bridge crossing the this isn't the Mekong this is like a tributary which I'm staying on so somewhere up there the Nam Cotton I think it's called and they this bridge is only here in the dry season in the rainy season they have to take it down apparently so that you can uh, well does the river get fixed? and back on the road bridge iron bridge <laughs> These planks don't feel very secure, but I have to say. Held together with bits of old tyre. Bits of it. <laughs> very rickety. Crossing back over the Namkon River. Sun's up now. It's a bit warmer. It's a little bit chilly this morning. But... Side. See the stupa up on the hill there. It's the walk down to our hotel that Carl found. It's got a good deal, super cheap because he's closing up and he got screwed by COVID sadly. And uh, so they're just the last few weeks here, but we've got a pretty cheap place right on the river, which is nice. Well, Fasok. Nothing special, but good price. I think we're paying like Three quid a night. River view. <laughs> See that river view? Oh, I can dry my clothes there as well. Yeah, so there you have it. Nice no, fast sock. I was making a movie. Uh, so cooking cow new, steamed sticky rice. This is Laos staple. So in a little basket. And then in, in the just steaming it, no cover. I know she's got a little cover there. Hello, yeah? Hello. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. <laughs> Heading for afternoon cappuccino. Mm -hmm. What's becoming my favorite little coffee shop in downtown Luang Prabang. Coffee Express, I didn't even know the name. Sabadi. Cappuccino run. Cup Nice little spot. I think I can while away a couple of hours this afternoon here, reading my book. Hello, somebody. Pounding the rice. It's a bit like me. <laughs> a bit like making mochi in Japan. Ooh, close one. I don't know what they do with, with the end product, but they're all having a laugh. <laughs> so we're at the uh, the night market food court. So there's like stalls of food all the way around. It's a very poor vegetarian food. Uh, I've been eating sticky rice and chilies, but I've been hijacked by this young fella. He won't seem to leave my lap. He's a very sweet little ginger kitten. And uh, as is often the case, one can't really move when one has a cat on one's lap. Anyway, so that was dinner tonight. Uh, Canil, sticky rice, what we call salad rolls, which are like lettuce leaves wrapped with a sort of pumpkin puree and banana flour salad. Very nice with spicy chilies. And a uh, large beer lap. Very nice, sir. Back on the ferry. Like film and mount a ferry at the same time. Could be tricky. So I finished my little off-road ride. And now heading back over the Mekong. And I can do this one handed. Just. That's just. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of Luang Prabang, pretty much. Got this afternoon, and then I'm heading out early this morning, tomorrow morning, crossing back over the Mekong, and then a big climby ride back towards the border, and then I'll cross back into Thailand tomorrow. It's been fantastic. Wow, Luang Prabang and Laos has 
completely exceeded my expectations. Fantastic touring country. Ciao, ciao.